Hello, my name is Eric. In this video about van conversion and van life, I will explain how to manage cold and warm temperatures in your van without the use of AC or an added electric or fuel heater. The concepts that I will explain are also good for car camping. I have been van lifing for more than 20 years in all kinds of vehicles and been playing in the outdoors unaided for almost four decades. What I will share with you is based on real and diverse experiences ranging from winter to desert camping, remote tropical island camping to mountain winter camping. I have slept in the heat of the Amazonian forest and in tiny close cabins of sailing boats in the Caribbean and the Pacific. As well, I have slept outdoors in the midst of the Canadian winter with and without a tent by building a shelter, surfed in winter in the snow and then slept in my car right after that. So, what is the key factor to consider when facing all those extreme temperatures to feel comfortable? What is your ultimate friend in all those conditions? Ventilation. Ventilation is your savior. The more you have it, the better it is. If you want to sleep well, you must manage humidity. Humidity is what makes you freeze or overeat. Ventilation is how you manage humidity. My converted van is a minivan. In a small vehicle, it is really important to manage humidity and optimize ventilation. When you breathe, you expel a lot of humidity from your lungs. This humidity goes in the air, in the closed environment that is your van, you have to get rid of it. Otherwise, at some point, everything will get humid and damp in your van. When this happens, that's why you wake up cold and find humidity drops on the inside of your windows or even frost. If you are too sleeping in a van, the problem is doubled. This humidity inside the vehicle condensates to form droplets of frost because the exterior temperature is colder than the temperature inside the van. You need to sleep with open windows, even in winter you need cracked open windows. I should say that it is even more important in winter. How do I make this happen while staying still, protected from rain entering the van or from mosquitoes? First, I use window deflectors. These allow you to open your windows without having rain or snow entering your home. Also, they allow you to stay still. Your open windows goes unnoticed. You should look for the larger ones, the ones that allow the more airflow possible, and the darker ones to stay still when you open the lights inside. I have never slept with closed windows. All windows are always slightly open. It is not visible from the outside. Window deflectors are a must. The second thing you want is window insulated covers. You want these to keep the air cool inside in the summer and the warm inside in the winter. The use of curtains, chloroplast panels, cardboard or whatsoever windows covering will not do the job. Been there, done that. I use Reflectix insulation. The good news is that this product is pretty cheap to buy. The bad news, if you want to be stealth, you will need to cover them with black fabric. Also, since the fabric will be in contact with window and therefore act as a barrier between the inside and the outside temperature, where there is a delta in temperature, it will get a bit of that humidity. You need an appropriate more expensive fabric. I will talk about this in my coming video, how to do perfect window covers that will hold in place without modifying the vehicle. You should subscribe if you do not want to miss it. This insulation product does an amazing job. 
If your window covers are properly done, in summer you will keep the cool of the night pretty late in the morning, even with full sunshine outside. This is great if you are a sleep late person. Believe me, you will be impressed. And it is going to be the same for the warmth of your body that will diffuse in the van when it is cold outside. You will keep this heat more in the van even if the windows are slightly open. The third thing I use to manage temperature is an accessory to control humidity, which is quite useful in cold or wet temperatures. I use candle lanterns. The humidity can be expelled by using one or two candle lanterns. Of course, I will never leave those candles lighted or unsupervised or without opening my windows. They are also a great item to create a nice vibe at supper. You can use them inside as well as outside. They can stand some wind because of the glass protector. I never had an issue with them except one time by using bad candles. The candle dripped. I recommend you to use their candles, no substitutes. You can buy candles that last up to 12 hours. The fourth thing to manage temperature for summer I made full screen window covers. I also made small screen covers for when I open slightly my windows under the window reflectors. All this will be the subject of another video. Again, subscribe and hit the bell if you do not want to miss it. Fifth thing to do to manage temperature when it is really warm, choose wisely your parking space. You want it to be in the wind and the van oriented to maximize the breeze through your open windows. Sometimes it may be really warm and there may be no wind at all. Then you have no choice but to make your own. For those days, I use a small electric movable two-speed fan. This is the sixth way to manage temperature in your van without the use of AC or an added electric or fuel heater. Other tips will follow in my travel videos. So here's the summary for now. Window deflectors, window insulation, candle lanterns, screen window covers, park to get the breeze, electric fan. All these means to manage temperature can be used without modifying the van, not even drilling a hole. My van conversion was also made without modifying or drilling any holes. I invite you to take a look at my van tour video and to my three playlists about van conversion techniques, van concept layout design, and trips and van life tips. If you appreciated this video, please let me know by giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Comments are the fuel that keeps me going to publish videos. I love reading your comments and please let me know where you are from. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya!